Match Report with your host, Clive Hamstring. Hello there, and welcome to Match Report. I'm your host, Clive Hamstring, and today we have a very special episode of Match Report for you. That's right. It's the 2022 World Cup Final coming to you from Qatar. Today, we see Argentina taking on Cameroon for the World Cup Final. That's right, Cameroon. First time an African nation has made it to the World Cup Final. And this squad is firing on all cylinders. Uh, in the semifinals, Cameroon took out Canada by a scoreline of 3-0. That's right, they are a goal-scoring machine. Today, going up against fan favorite Argentina under the leadership of Lionel Messi. Uh, some say he is the greatest of all time. Others disagree today we may find out. So, without further ado, let's head out to the pitch, out to the hot sunny climbs of Qatar, and our man on the ground, David Farrelly. Take it away, Dave. Welcome to the World Cup Final. This is going to be an unbelievable matchup. We love this ground. We love the stadium. It's looking very Qatari, very desert-like with the lovely green grass. Uh, blue, blue skies and the British flag from there. But uh, yes, here we go. Here come the teams. Argentina versus Cameroon. Who would have thought that these two would be going head-to-head -head in the final? This could be absolutely massive. Look at that for the team. They're very strong. From Argentina there, Di Maria, Alvarez and Messi. What a formidable forward line that is. And look at the teams now. Argentina lining up in the blue and white. But look at this now. We've got the Cameroon side looking very, very strong as well. Going for a 5-4-1. Is that negative? Is that negative to play Argentina? Or is it what you need to do? Is it a plan to counter-attack such a strong front three but look at this lining up now this will be a proud moment for them this will be a huge moment to play in a world cup final let's be honest fans of football we've all dreamt of this moment they're actually living it from there even in flicking form so let's see how they do there i'm personally very very uh, excited to see what martinez can do there interestingly dressed up as a traditional referee but we'll uh, we'll move on from there the referees for the day as well there this will be a massive game for them as well no doubt their friends and family are watching but there's so much pressure on them to get it right especially with the media scrutinizing them as well all the way and the studio as well let's see what the studio may say at the end about them but this is cameroon now as well zwego flat bases they make for a very strong tough sliding game this one it's what you want to see Zwego flats are absolutely wonderful there's some unbelievable power in them create some fantastic goals some fantastic finishes this could really be anybody's game here Cameroon will they be able to reenact the moment of Roger Miller I think it was Cameroon that he played for anyway a little bit before my time never for playing Roger Miller there and a little celebration will they be dancing with the flag we shall see and the, to the, uh, the coin is tossed Oh, it's landed on the side. I don't know who predicted that. Oh, there we go. And it's the uh, it's the strange American bloke with the wig. And uh, that means that somebody's kicking off or changing ends at some time soon. But look at this. The crowd are well happy to get this one underway. Goodness me there. Is, uh, this is going to be a good one. It's great to see them. But look at this. The formation. Cameroon take the kickoff. And here we go. Threads the ball beautifully there. The problem is that's it. Argentina must have collect, con connected with the ball there. They're going to try and recycle it. Otamendi knocking it forward. He's got Di Maria on the ball. Alvarez or Messi? Who's going to run on to this one? Oh, not such luck there. Cameroon seems to have stolen the ball. He's moved backwards though. They're playing advantage. Messi moves on to the ball. Ah, free kick. 
and that's totally understandable you would take a free kick in that situation but the ball's moved across is there any jokes about Eric's hand being the hand of God during this one as we can see it moving about but look at this to move the ball across Lionel Messi of all players oh he'd lost the ball oh I thought he'd teed himself up there but Cameroon have played it beautifully look at this now they've got options are they going to play it out from the back I thought Cameroon would go for more of a long ball job if I'm honest but uh, in the scene so it knocked it across and he's touched the ball there oh he's legal he stands it's going forwards tries to block it off deflected effort here it comes has a ping wow look at that Zwego defending he's just beautiful knocking that away absolutely magical look at this the ball's coming over ball thrown in and the Cameroon player manages to clear no, oh, another throw in here. Rory Delap on the ball once again. Throwing it across the Argentinian Delap. Oh, that bloke from Tranmere. Somebody telling me his name. Is it Dave Shalinor? The Argentinian Dave Shalinor will go for that. But he's going to flick. He should be able to block this one off. Oh, it's wonderful. But it's still an opportunity. But I thought they were going to ping from there. Maybe not. Maybe my shooting line, uh, my choice of shooting line is a little bit. Well, it's a little bit over, over it's generous, shall we say. But look at this. An opportunity here. Surely go for the deflected effort. He's got the angle. Oh, wonderful bit of defending again. Cameroon sticking into this. Now, will the 5 4 1 work? That's going to be interesting as Argentina not the ball into the box. He's been all the South Americans so far. And Cameroon clearing as well. Oh, and he's an off the line clearance. Oh, my days. Ball played across again. He's got to wrap himself around this one. This old 5 4 1 is not absorbing the pressure like they'd hoped it would. Another opportunity, can he slot into the right-hand side of the keeper? Oh. Wonderful save. Goodness me, it's all Argentina at Cameroon defending for their lives. Ball comes in again. Bobbles one. Bobbles two. Bobbles oh. three. Bobbles out. Played forward there. That's a hell of a day today. The Cameroon, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Cameroonian... Dave Shalinot will go for it, he's knocked it forward there, look at this, they've got an opportunity. Is he going to thread the gap? I'm not sure if that's the best idea, there's so many defenders there. Sure he's going to get blocked off, he's going to have to get a strong touch on this one. And he does knocks it over the shooting line, can he be stopped? Goes in for the block. No way, if Cameroon score this, this will be unbelievable! Oh, he's deflected it! Oh! Oh, Otamendi getting onto that one. But look at this corner ball now. Corner comes across. And it's cleared, kept in. Ball knocked down. Players knocked down and knocked away. Argentina now attacking down the left hand side. Plenty of room. Take your time, lad. Take your time, son. Set yourself. Always oh, played the long ball forward. He's found Alvarez. Oh no! Oh no! And the referee blings that to half time. And that's an interesting one now. I mean, nil nil. But Cameroon, what do you do? Surely they've got to change it up because this pressure is going to tell eventually. Argentina just needs to keep doing what they've been doing. And here we come out again for the second half. But Cameroon. They need to switch it up. If they don't switch it up, they're, 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 they're heading for the silver medal. I've got to be honest with you. I mean, they'll be delighted with that anyway. When they first came to the tournament, no way they think they'd get this far. But you don't come this far to throw it away for nothing. The game plan has got to change, but they're sticking with the same formation. Or it looks a bit more like 5-2-3. So maybe they're going a little bit more attacking this time. It's, it's a bit of a basketball defensive formation between the midfield and attack. There's not going to be much pressure there that you can alleviate. Look at this now, Argentina coming forward. Oh, and he fouled him. Fouled him, referee. Have a conversation, please. We don't like to see it. Oh, he's let it slide. Oh, I don't know. We don't want to see this cup final descend into absolute chaos. It's like Andres Arnold Mitrovic is up front. But look at this, they're not the ball forward one. Surely not. Surely Cameroon aren't going to come into the second half and take the lead. Oh, not quite. Didn't wrap his hands around it. But the Jabalani ball is not an easy one to get hold of but he's made a great attef effort and attempt at it but look at this now Argentina moving forward
knocks it across beautifully played and he's got hold of the ball playing it through midfield silky football scenes we'd like to see hits it again is he going to get that without colliding he does and he's nicked it past oh lord oh I'd have continued the run if it was me but he has there's two of them now it's even more successful look at this now though they've got to try and wrap his hand around this it's a tight cut can he play the ball across he does this deserves a goal Shoot! oh it's been well defended Cameroon there holding on well oh but they've lost the ball you cannot give this team second chances like that there's an onside flick plays it well look you've got three men on the right hand side Skippy on to the right he's gone down the centre is it going to pay off for him tries the blocking flick he's got an opportunity it's now or never surely and it's a goal it's now what a finish Argentina won Cameroon nearly wheels away look at that the cheek of it doing the Roger Miller celebration sneaking off to the air to the corner flag oh my days what a goal though they'll be absolutely delighted the lads get back the other side of the pitch if you want to win this you can't be celebrating it's not won yet it's not over Cameroon sticking with the same style they've really got to put pressure on now they've got to come up with something they've got to come up with it fast the seconds are ticking away it's so important for them to win this now knocks the ball this is a great start though he's lost the ball though Argentina moving forward what do they do do they go for a second or they'll just lose the ball instead but if not would they go for a second would they try and keep possession at this stage surely you try to keep possession hold it tight don't let Cameroon into the game they're looking like a very locked formation there's 10 men behind the ball but look at this Cameroon's formation so negative it means that they've not got anything in attack surely got to play for the corner here sunshine play for the corner oh he's tried to he's tried to play it with integrity and uh, he's lost the ball out and he's going to clear this forward Cameroon knocking backwards Argentina with the ball surely it's all over now it's got to be all over there's plenty of time in this game still but all they have to do is keep hold of the ball like they're doing sensible football is what they need it's what you want to see plays the ball loses it out come on I can't believe I'm saying this but channel you're in a Warnock ball you've got to play your classic Neil Warnock football here it's got to go long Sam Allardyce at Cameroon it's your only option they're still coming forward Tony Pulis at Cameroon do something Sean Dyche it I don't know do something there we go they knocked the ball across time is ebbing away though they're playing like they've got all the time in the world they're in a World Cup final going to be a long range effort here from midfield I think it's going to be a hell of a goal if this goes in oh it's in oh my days I don't know what I'm talking about it's 1-1 one, one. Cameroon are in it again what a finish oh my days stay calm stay collected I swear to God Marcelo Bielsa has taken over this national side they kept calm they were resilient they kept the same formation they stuck with the plan they played it forward and also this Cameroon in the World Cup final of course Bielsa must be in charge there's no one else that could achieve this such a feat to bring them forward but look at this now Cameroon no way they are not going to steal this surely not I thought this game was buried I thought it was done dying seconds knocks it across toxic two surely going to block one last chance has the game plan worked do I know nothing about football whatsoever of all the things I've said I'm not going to eat my words today oh it's in Martinez misses it 
Oh my goodness me, Cameroon 2! Argentina 1! It could only have been Bielsa in charge of the Africans there. There's no one else that could have done it. You can't change my mind. I don't care if it's flick to kick. There's only one man that could have done that job. Argentina losing to Cameroon. Cameroon with everyone behind the ball. Oh goodness me, it's still going on. I thought it was full time. I might eat my words twice. It's absolute chaos here on the pitch. It's even more chaotic in the studio. Goodness me, I can't believe the man trusts me to do his commentating for him because goodness me, this has been all over the shop. But we're loving it, we're enjoying it. I am anyway. You lot might be wondering what the next going on and it's full time. It is unbelievable. Cameroon 2, Argentina 1. How did they throw that away? Bielsa's Cameroon boys take it home. World Cup final winners. Kept with the prize, kept with the trophy. Look at that Argentina, got to walk past it. This is what you could have won. It's like bullseye on this thing. But look at this, Cameroon lift the trophy. Unbelievable scenes here. I cannot believe what we've seen. Who would have predicted this one? Somebody in their office on the local sweepstake is incredibly surprised and happy with this one after sticking a couple of dollars on. We'll say dollars because Eric's American. But look at this, it's unbelievable. Cameroon winning, taking this is why you got a love flick to kick. Who could ask anything more from a World Cup final? That's right, we had goals, we had drama, and now we have the first African nation in history to win the World Cup. That's right, Cameroon defeat Argentina by a score line of two. Two, one. Oh, the scenes on the pitch after the game were absolutely spectacular. So once again, Cameroon claims the 2022 World Cup defeating Argentina by a score of two to one. So from all your friends here at Match Report, this is Clive Hamstring signing off, and we want to say thank you to our man with a plan out on the grounds. That's right, David Fairley, for his play-by-play -play commentary. Until next time, we'll see you again on Match Report.